it just, you, know, you decide tonight when you go home who this applies to in your life. But here it is. I learned the difference between being a boy and a man is the boy wipes the tears from his eyes, but a man lets him fall. Mm. The boy walks away screaming, fuck you, but a man wonders if you're ever going to call. The boy wants to screw or make love because in the end of him it's all the same. But a man just wants to sleep by your side tonight. And other than that, there's no shame. A boy demands, but a man copes. A boy gives up, but a man hopes. A man falls in love with you each time you kiss, but a boy protects his heart. So the point gets missed, so please, don't let this be our goodbye. Keep those dogs and skeleton bones you got in the closet at bay. I may not always say the right thing, but at least I got something to say. When the dream weaver gets up from her loom, I wanna look around this room and see the course of love we made. And the shade that graces our face from that tree that we planted together that now protects us like a smile through all this stormy weather and not we make it to old age, girl. Let's just at least try to make it there together because this life is just an old stage where the actors must die for the story to get better. So let me tell it here and tell it now and tell it loud of the days when we were young. And I was a... Trying to heal my trigger temper and pull all that gunpowder from my cheeks. And I was a wave fever bold with a heart too cold to give you what you seek. Not to that effect, I tend just no gray. And I bade you stay with me for just another season. I mean, what could it hurt? To accuse each other of treason in bed sheets made of laughter. But then you added an S to my laughter and made it slaughter. Every son and daughter, we never had the chance to spawn. It's taken over 30 years of living, y'all, but now I know that this life right here has got to go on this winding road like all the others leads to a carnival. My ticket in hand, my cage awaits because I'm the first act in your three ring circus as the curtains of my life part and the announcer screams, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present you the man who lives without a heart. So I've learned the difference between being a boy and a man as a boy wipes the tears from his eyes, but a man, he lets him fall down his face to that cold spot that old part, that dead spark, his empty heart. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Like four people remember that song. The rest of y'all are young as shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your hands on my hips pull me right back to you. I Catch that thrust, give it right back to you. In so deep, you're breathing for me. No. Uh, it never really mattered too much to me. But you were just too damn old for me. <laughs> all that really mattered was you're my girlfriend. And baby, that's all that. No. No slow songs, people don't slow dance in Kent or Akron or Cleveland. <laughs> I just work too hard and very miserable and life is rough and shit. Yes. <laughs> All the four part-time jobs you got, I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh, I knew a girl named Mickey, I guess you could say she was a sex fiend. I met her in a hotel lobby, met no, no Prince fans either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. keep going. It's a sad, sad point that you people live on. Keep going, Okay, keep going. we good? Okay, let's check it, just, you know. You were just uh, going fast. I'll open it, shit. I knew a girl named Mickey, I guess you could say she was a sex fiend. I met her in a hotel lobby, masturbated in a magazine. She said, how'd you like to waste some time? And I did not resist when I saw a little Nikki. Great. I want to slide inside you deeper than my voice goes. It's uh, the awkward part rising and looking at some dude. <laughs> <laughs> I want to slide inside you deeper than my voice goes. Be like Barry White, baby. I want to slide inside you deeper than my voice goes. 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 <laughs> Give you that beloved sex that make you feel it on the inside part. Girl, I do not believe in drinking your bathtub water, but I will most certainly drink you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Tear all the pages of the Bible, part of Psalms out, insert them inside you. Let them sit there and marinate for six days. Suck them out on the seventh so know what God's words are supposed to taste like. In other words, this shit is not for children. I don't believe you having sex right unless one of you gets a leg cramp from giving head. Thank you. <laughs> We'll stop there on the erotic show. I just want to see how y'all respond to this. Uh, how we doing so far? Are we alright? Alright. I think we're close to my time wrapping up. I always do my shit like back to back to back to back to back. Um, plus y'all tired as hell. Uh, I don't know where we're on time. One more? Yes, no? Uh, one. One and one. Half? Okay, alright. Um, the who part, right? Because y'all looking like, who's this dude in a weird hoodie? Uh, so, hi, my name is Ed Mabry. Um, I'm the only four-time individual world culture slam champion. Woo! Uh, no, 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 you guys laugh. You're saying, like, so who, like, you wonder why I'm here, why I'm closing out the show, and why they got my face on the poster, all that shit. There's always somebody, heard someone order, like, who's closing? Who is he? Uh, so here's who I am, if the show didn't make their own point. Uh, I'm the only four-time individual world culture slam champion. I'm the only four-time and four consecutive uh, Southern Five Regional Poetry Slam Indie Champion. I was on seasons three, five, and six of TV Ones versus in Flow. You can also see me on All Death Digital, also on HBO. Uh, also on Crackle, also on NBC, CNBC, CNN, C-SPAN, ABC, CBS, Fox. Uh, I'm an Emmy nominee and Emmy winner, not for poetry, uh, for some other shit. Uh, also do voiceover work. Uh, I'm a professional comedian in addition to being a professional touring poet, which means this is how I pay my bills. Not the shit your friends say when they say they're professional. Actually, this is how I pay my bills, Craig, uh, the past 10 years. Uh, it's been my only job has been poetry. And so far, I'm still fat, so apparently it's still doing okay. <laughs> uh, you know, shit's getting lean when I get all slim. Um, nah, I'm just playing. I'm actually trying to lose weight. <laughs> Fuck around. Tell that joke. Sorry, Jesus. I'm, I'm just keep on working. I'm going to keep on. Jesus, be a diet. Um, yeah, so I told a profession doing this around the globe. Uh, my uh, stuff was on, like, uh, four different continents and translated to a bunch of languages. Uh, on the academic side, I've also been in academic peer review journals. Uh, I'm a current push card nominee, um, so I'm also about that right life because you can't just be about that slam life, I go that right life. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard shit there and I was like, yeah, what? Um, yeah, you also be a writer first, slam is the second. Um, anyway, so that's the who I am. I'm very, very happy and blessed to be here. Um, so I'm going to close out with this. And uh, whether you buy some shit or not, I have some merch on the table, books and download cards, which is the new version of CDs. Because um, most people don't have CD players anymore. Uh, some dope ass t shirts. I'm a brand ambassador for that uh, Hashi World. That's what the t shirt is. It's not me, it's them, but it's dope as hell. The limited edition. Uh, so please get something. If not, just get a business card. Follow me on IG. Shout me out. Let's take photos. Let's exchange love and energy. Uh, because life is short, yes? Yes. yes? yes. And it only gets shorter, so let's close with this. Uh, I have a few simple beliefs Kent, or just Ohio, period. Uh, one, I believe my mom is better than your mom. <laughs> uh, right now you should be thinking that your mama's better than my mama. Damn straight. Unless of course you have a problem with your mama. Yeah. Um, I believe Chinese pugs are amazing. I believe they're cute. And if you think they're ugly, that says a lot more about you than it does them. Because they were born that way, what's your excuse? <laughs> I believe orange Tic Tacs are perfect food. They are also not breath mints, they are candy. Uh, it's closely followed by orange popcorn from Garrett's on the south side of Chicago. That is closely followed by Quaker maple brown sugar oatmeal instant pack only. Uh, you boil it in a pot with hot water first and therefore it tastes like it's homemade. If you pour hot water into it, it tastes horrible. I believe ramen noodles taste vastly different if you're eating them by choice instead of by force. <laughs> I believe cold bologna sandwiches taste like Satan's armpit. <laughs> but fried bologna sandwiches taste like Jesus' left butt cheek. I believe love should come with a 90-day back guarantee. <laughs> In other words, what if, in order for me to get to know you better, to choose the like or love you, I had to crack open my rib cage and give you my heart. And in return, you had to do the same for me. And that would sound dope as shit. Until the next day, when you met someone else, and eyes flashed, and things sparked, and now you had to do it again, and I had to do it again, and the next day, 
and the next day, and the next day, if you could not speak to somebody, hello, hi, how are you, kiss my ass, anything, without actually exchanging the hearts you were holding on to. I've done the math, and by the end of the week, your heart would have went through six million people. Which means you have no idea who's actually responsible for your next breath, whose death is dependent upon your life, and vice versa. Therefore, that means no more nigger. <laughs>